we're going to show you how and why we use the mods folder. We'll leave this link to this video and all future tutorials and we also plan to simplify future tutorials by modding the original files instead. If you have been watching some of our breakdowns, you may be familiar already. The main reason why we use the mods folder is to inject mods for online and offline use. It also saves us time from re-downloading if you manage to crash your game due to faulty mods or incorrect install. OpenIV or 4, or whatever you like to call it, is one of the most valuable tools with modding, not just for GTA, but for a number of Rockstar games. And with the latest update, you can right click on any RPF and copy to your mods folder. For example, if you are downloading a new car and a text file asks you to navigate to a specific folder, do so, then right click and save to mods folder. This now creates a mod folder in your GTA V directory, which is wherever your GTA V executable lives. Now back on OpenIV, open your mods folder and navigate again to your specific folder. Press edit mode and mod your files. Now when you start the game, this folder will swap the original files. This still leaves us with a clean version of GTA. Then when you want to play online, go to the ASI manager and click uninstall. This removes the OpenIV ASI and any other associated files. But to use your mods again, just reinstall the game using the ASI manager. If you do have issues and need to rebuild, go to Steam and then right click on the game in the library and go to Properties and Validate Files. Texture replacement mods don't really work with the Rockstar version but to verify the Rockstar version, go to Local Disk, Program Files, Rockstar Games, and GTA V. Right click on GTA V EXE and make a shortcut if you don't already have one. Now right click on the shortcut on your desktop, go to Properties, and where it says Target, add Verify to the end of the path. Then launch the game and your game will validate. 